The first question is, show that opportunity cannot be monopolized. Now, of course, if you're sitting down somewhere where you can write, write out your answer. If you're not, just think about it. If you're driving along or walking down the street, really give that some thought. Show that opportunity cannot be monopolized. Click on the button and get involved in Six Minutes to Success. I've been doing it for a long time. It's helped me earn millions of dollars, and it'll help you do exactly the same. No one is kept in poverty by a shortness in supply of the riches. There is more than enough for all. A palace as large as the Capitol at Washington could be built for every family on Earth from the building material available in the United States of America alone. Under intensive cultivation, this country could produce enough wool, cotton, linen, silk, and food to clothe and feed each person in the world. The visible supply is practically inexhaustible, and the invisible supply really is inexhaustible. Everything you see on Earth is made from one original substance, out of which all things proceed. New forms are constantly being made, and older ones are dissolving. But all are shapes assumed by one thing. There's no limit to the supply of formless stuff or our original substance. The universe is made out of it. But it was not all used in the making of the universe. The space is in, through, and between the forms of the visible universe are permeated and filled with the original substance, with the formless stuff, with the raw material of all things. 10,000 universes can still be made, and even then the supply of universal raw material will not be exhausted. No person, therefore, is poor because nature is poor or because there is not enough to go around. Nature is an inexhaustible storehouse of riches. The supply will never run short. Original substance is alive with creative energy and is constantly producing more forms. When the supply of building material is exhausted, more will be produced. When the soil is exhausted so that foodstuffs and materials for clothing will no longer grow upon it, it will be renewed or more soil will be made. When all the gold and silver has been dug from the earth, if human beings are still in such a stage of social development as to need gold and silver, more will be produced from the formless. The formless stuff responds to the needs of humans. It will not let them be without any good. This is true of man collectively. The race as a whole is always abundantly rich. If individuals are poor, it's because they do not follow a certain way of doing things which makes the individual person rich. The formless stuff is intelligent. It is material which thinks. It is alive and is always impelled toward more life. It is the natural and inherent impulse of life to seek to live more. It is the nature of intelligence to enlarge itself and the quality of consciousness to seek to extend its boundaries and find fuller expression. The universe of forms has been made by formless living substance, throwing itself into form in order to express itself more fully. The universe is a great living presence, always moving inherently toward more life and fuller functioning. You know, the more you think about this, the more powerful it becomes. You've got to understand that just because you can't see something, that doesn't mean there's nothing there. We're centered in a dynamic, creative, spiritual power. And we've been gifted with phenomenal mental faculties. We can change anything in our world, but we've got to understand these basic concepts that Wallace Waddles was genius enough to put in print for us. Nature is formed for the advancement of life. Its motive is the increase of life. For this reason, everything which can possibly minister to life is bountifully provided. There can be no lack unless God is to contradict himself and nullify his own words. You are not kept poor by a shortness in supply of riches. I shall demonstrate a little further on that even the resources of the formless supply are at the command of any man or woman who will act and think in a certain way. The great secret of life is available to all.
And you know what that means? That means you, and that means me. And the only thing we will ever lack is awareness. And as we expand our level of awareness, we're going to see that we do have phenomenal powers. Spirit is always for expansion and fuller expression. It's never for disintegration. 